Imagine a force so powerful it conquered lands from China to Europe, establishing the largest contiguous land empire in history. This force was none other than the Mongols. As we journey back to the early 13th century, we encounter a world on the cusp of monumental change. In the vast, rugged steppes of Central Asia, the Mongols, a nomadic people, were about to stage an invasion that would forever alter the course of history. The Mongols were not always a unified force. They were a disparate group of tribes, often at odds with each other. But everything began to change with the rise of a visionary leader, a man known as Temujin. But you might know him better by another name, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, born into a simple nomadic tribe, emerged as a charismatic, determined leader driven by a vision of unity. He worked tirelessly to bring the Mongol tribes together, forging them into a single formidable force. Under Genghis Khan's leadership, the Mongols adopted innovative military strategies and tactics. They became masters of horseback warfare, using their speed, mobility, and the element of surprise to devastating effect. Their powerful composite bows, capable of striking from great distances, only added to their lethal arsenal. But Genghis Khan's influence wasn't limited to the battlefield. He also implemented sweeping reforms, creating a code of law known as Yasa, which helped maintain discipline and order within his vast empire. He established a merit-based system, discarding the old tribal affiliations. In his empire, talent and loyalty were rewarded above all else. The Mongol invasion began in earnest around the early 13th century. From the fortified cities of China to the vast plains of Russia and further into the heart of Europe, no place seemed beyond their reach. The Mongols' swift and efficient mounted warfare, coupled with their adaptability, made them an unstoppable force. With Genghis Khan's death in 1227, the stage was set for the next chapter, the expansion of the Mongol Empire. As we delve deeper into this remarkable period of history, we'll discover how the Mongols' legacy continues to resonate even today. The Mongol Empire didn't stop growing with the death of Genghis Khan. It was only the beginning. Genghis Khan's passing in the early 13th century marked the start of a new era, as his successors embarked on a relentless quest to expand their dominion. This era saw the Mongol Empire's reach extend from the steppes of Central Asia to the gates of Vienna, and from the icy Siberian tundra to the warm waters of the Persian Gulf. Under the rule of Genghis's son, Ogedi Khan, the Mongols swept across Asia and Europe, conquering vast territories. They toppled the Jin Dynasty in northern China, overran the Kievan Rus, and even breached the impregnable walls of Baghdad, the seat of the Islamic Caliphate. These conquests were not just about territorial gains. They also brought about a significant shift in the cultural and political landscape of these regions. The Mongols, known for their military prowess, were also surprisingly tolerant rulers. They allowed religious freedom, promoted trade, and even adopted some elements of the cultures they conquered. This policy of tolerance led to a period of peace and prosperity known as the Pax Mongolica or the Mongol Peace. During the Pax Mongolica, trade flourished along the Silk Road, and with it came an unprecedented exchange of ideas, technologies and goods. The Mongols established a reliable postal system called the Yam, which not only facilitated communication across their vast empire, but also supported trade. The Mongol Empire reached its zenith under the rule of Kublai Khan, Genghis Khan's grandson. Kublai Khan established the Yuan Dynasty in China and made Beijing his capital. He welcomed foreign visitors, most famously Marco Polo, and his reign was marked by a blossoming of arts and culture. But even as the empire expanded, it was not without its challenges. The vastness of the territories made them increasingly difficult to control. Internal conflicts and power struggles began to chip away at the unity that had once defined the Mongols. The Mongol Empire reached its zenith under Kublai Khan, but not without turmoil and internal conflicts. All empires rise and fall, and the Mongol Empire was no exception. As vast as it was, spanning from Eastern Europe to the Sea of Japan, the empire eventually faced a series of challenges that led to its decline. One of the main factors contributing to the downfall was internal conflict. After the death of Kublai Khan, the empire lacked a strong, unifying leader. 
the grandsons and great-grandsons of Genghis Khan fought among themselves for power, leading to a fractured empire and weakening its central authority. Economic issues also played a part. The Mongols were excellent warriors, but less adept at managing the financial aspects of an empire. The cost of maintaining such a vast territory, coupled with lavish lifestyles and expensive military campaigns, drained the empire's coffers. Moreover, the sheer size of the empire posed challenges. Managing diverse cultures, languages and traditions across such a vast area was not an easy feat. Communication and administration were burdensome and inefficient, further weakening the empire's grip on its territories. Yet, even as we recount the decline, we must not forget the legacy left behind by the Mongols. Their rule led to unprecedented connections between the East and the West, paving the way for cultural, scientific and economic exchanges. They revolutionized warfare with their horse riding and archery skills. They fostered religious tolerance in their realms, an unusual practice for the time. In the grand scheme of things, the Mongol Empire also played a significant role in shaping modern world borders. Many of today's nations, such as Russia, China, and many others in Central Asia, owe their current boundaries to the vast swaths of land once ruled by the Mongols. Though the Mongol Empire eventually fell, its history and influence still echoes through the ages. The Mongols may not have built their empire to last, but their impact on the world was indelible, forever etched into the annals of history.